District under fire, a local teacher accused of inappropriate behavior. It's our top story tonight at 10. This is actually the second lawsuit leveled against the Southfield School District and the sixth grade teacher for alleged sexual harassment. Another student saying she was inappropriately touched when she was just 11 years old. Reporter Brian Abel talked with the student today about what she says she went through. Brian. Yeah, in this lawsuit right here, the student details how a teacher named Derek Atlas would allegedly make comments about her clothes, touch her shoulders, say at one point, just because I touch you doesn't mean I want you. And then, according to the lawsuit, when the situation was brought to the attention of the district, they brushed it off as fake news. It made me feel like really uncomfortable. This now 12 year old whose identity we are protecting is the latest student to sue Southfield Public Schools and a teacher, saying when she was 11, her sixth grade teacher at Thompson Academy, Derek Atlas, sexually harassed her in the classroom, and the school did nothing. He would um, block her way, you know, stand in her way where she wanted to go. He would um, flirt with her, to ask if she wanted to fight. He made the comment to her one time, just because I touch you doesn't mean I want you. That is the statement that made me go over to the school. When she came home and told me that any grown up or any adult person wouldn't even have the audacity to say that to a student if that's not exactly what your thoughts are. The student's mother says she confronted the district and Atlas. He pretty much said that he had daughters and that he was not, he just wanted to be a father figure to them. And I informed him that that's not his role that he needed to strictly be a teacher. After a news report of another alleged victim, the lawsuit claims the principal at Thompson Academy got on the PA system. The next morning, the first thing the principal did that morning is got on the intercom and told the whole school that what they saw in the news last night was fake news. In a statement, Southfield Public School says it investigates and addresses all allegations of inappropriate behavior, but doesn't comment on matters under investigation. And that young girl's attorney tells us Alice is now on administrative leave. Both lawsuits are still in various stages of litigation, and we should note attempts to reach Atlas have so far been unsuccessful. Reporting in the newsroom, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.